this is what we're talking about, people. The hell this racing is what humanitarian. We're about. Yeah. The, our friend is running for Congress. Um, so what is it? It's Marsha Fudge is being appointed by or being appointed to what is it? Um, health and human services. Uh, yeah, health and human er yeah. services. It may be the one and truly good appointment that Biden has put forward. Yeah, uh, well, you know point. what? And I like Marsha Fudge. Yeah, no, I she's do. Good. She was, she she's was, good. After, I spoke with her when she was down here for that whole uh, election integrity hearing at the Broward County. Um, at yeah, the no, she's Center. good people. I mean, listen, yeah, you know. Yeah, she was fine, but she's not Nina Turner. No, there's only so one. So everybody, I messaged Nina last night. I told her that Team Nina South Florida is at her disposal and is ready to help. And she was very appreciative and will be reaching out soon. So this is very exciting for Yeah, I know that there us. have been a number of volunteers for Gen Corps that have already been putting in the message chat that you want to try to set up some type of a caravan to go up to Cleveland. Um we will work on something. We'll uh, talk about that. You know, we'll but figure I out what's going to be. What her people yeah, do. we also have to know what the date is. We don't know it yet. The go uh, whoever the governor is, um, don't remember his name. The governor of uh, Ohio will in in institute the primary date. My guess is that it's probably going to be sometime in March. But that would yeah, be my guess. I mean, everybody. It's going to be quick. It's going to be maybe ninety to one hundred and twenty days, give which or is take. Great. That you much rather do it that way because Nina oh, yeah, will have a fundraising army. That and will, nobody will be distracted by nope. anything else. And, and there's another. nobody that's going to be even close no. in terms of name I mean, recognition. This is basically, I mean, she's it's got, her job if she wants it. Is, it. That's it really is. what it comes down it, to. Well, Especially it, since that's her district. But, it's not like, like foreign people. But I will say this. I will love to see how hard the Democratic establishment is going to try to push against her. I don't, think they, her. Will. I don't, I don't think they know will. about that. I don't, I don't know about that. I think it's too tenuous right now, especially given all the complaints about his cabinet. I think that, and I think that they I think that they'll Nina be is untouchable. Well, I think they'll be silent right now, at least until January 5th, depending on the outcome of the senator, uh, uh, the uh, Georgia run, uh, Senate runoff elections. I think that they- Post that. I know. think that that, see, like, you know, okay, they he picked Kamala. They've he's putting together this cabinet. They're not doing anything we want them to do. Uh, none of these things are happening. But I, I think if they were to go after Nina, I think that would be that would be kind of like I, I, but that I would be like really that would be the end for yeah. But I people. wouldn't put it past them. No. I just wouldn't. I, I think that she are obviously Team Nina. So that's that. So I could tell you. I could tell you that the K Hive will definitely and what be coming is it? after it's, her. It's what Ohio ten. Ohio, uh, the t guys, is it the Ohio 10th Congressional 10. District? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's what it okay. is. And sh listen, she is the type of person that will not hold anything back. She is a very, you know, she is a- And by the way, don't think it escaped me that uh, she uses purple. No, of course. Well, and that and and that her purple is very similar to to my purple. Hey, Debbie Wasserman Schultz nice. tried to use purple, so yeah, but, you know. <laughs> but 